All right, so we're going to do lesson 17 in our Nancy Larson Science, okay? We're going to be learning about trees, right? So in your last science lesson, you learned about the leaves of trees. What did you learn about leaves? Uh, they collect air. They collect air. So what did you learn about leaves? So, uh, leaves... They... What color are leaves? Green. Green. Mm -hmm. And um, are all leaves the same? No. No. They're no. different shapes and sizes. So you can learn things about the trees by They're sometimes the leaves. brown. Sometimes when they're dying, yeah. Do you remember the names of the parts of a tree? I know. Okay. Um, stem, root, um, stem. branches, root, flower, leaf. Okay, branches, yes. Leaves, roots, flowers. What, what about, okay, so they have the root and they have a branch and then before they have a leaf, they have something else. A flower. A twig. A twig. Okay, let's read about trees. I want you to open your booklet to page four. Right here? Right there, very good. Okay, point to the title. Do you know what the word is? Um, Sela, do you know three. the title? Oh. Title. Caleb, do you know what the word is? Tree. Trees. Trees. Okay, put your finger on the number one. Point to the words as I read the paragraph, okay? Trees are the largest plants. Trees have roots, a woody stem, and leaves. Okay, put your fingers on the number two. Point to the words as I say it, okay? Trees have a hard, woody stem called a trunk. The outside of the trunk is covered with bark. The bark of a tree can be rough or smooth. Okay, so I want you to look, see these words here? See these words right here? Okay, what do you notice about them? They're big. Well, they're not bigger. The words trunk and bark are in bold print. Words in bold print are darker. Do you see how they're darker than the other words on the page? Okay, yeah. so look here. Ready? We're going to read this. Can you help me, Sayla? Parts, Parts of uh, a uh, tree. Okay, mm -hmm. so look at the picture of the tree on page five. Point to the trunk of the tree. Trunk. trunk. Those are the roots, Sayla. Where's the trunk? Those are the roots. Yes. Trunk. Just this main part right here. Okay. So I'm going to get you to use your pencil to write the word trunk next to the trunk of the tree. I want you to write the word trunk. T R. You can see it right here. U N. <laughs> you didn't leave enough space, did you? Fun. Okay, just wait for your sister. Okay, so draw a line from the trunk of the tree to the word trunk. You can have it, you have it. Good. So, what covers the outside of the trunk of a tree? I don't know. Sayla, there's the trunk. What's on the outside? Caleb? Bark. Bark. Okay. What color is the bark on most trees? I know, brown. Brown. That's right. So look back on page four. Put your finger on number three. Good. Point to the words as I read the paragraph. Ready? Say left. You try to read Tree. along too. Trees have branches that grow out from the trunk. Very small branches are called twigs. Branches and twigs are covered with bark. Okay, look back at the picture of the tree. 
point to a branch of the tree. Okay. Use your pencil to write the word branch next to the tree. Oh, branch? It can be anywhere because you can draw a line to it, right? Oh, so it's not twig, so what? Write the word branch. Branch. Okay. No, you need to follow the spelling right here. So erase that and I'll tell you the right spelling. Ready? It's B R, not B E. B R. B-R-A-N-A-N-C-H. B-R-A-N-C-H. Branch. What about the roots? We'll get to those. Okay. So draw a line from the branch of the tree to the word branch. This is called labeling, okay? Are twigs larger or smaller than branches? I don't know. Smaller. Smaller. You're both right. Point to a twig on the tree. A twig. Yes. Write the word twig and draw a line to it, okay? What? Again? Mm -hmm. Now write the word twig. T. Well, who I'm doing it? W. I. G. T. W. Ig. Twig. Draw a line to a twig. Look, see? This is what I'm doing it. Nice. Okay. Look back at page four. Where's page four, Sayla? Okay. Put your finger on number four next to the paragraph. Point to the words as I read the paragraph and read along, okay? Ready? Many trees have very large and long roots. The roots hold the tree in the ground. Sometimes we can see roots above the ground. Hey, I just saw one when we were That's at right. that mountain. We were investigating. All right, look at the picture of the tree. Point to a root of the tree. Mm. Uh, Use your pencil to write the word root next to the roots of the tree. R. Yeah. What makes the sound ooh? Root. Mm. Mm. That's right. All right, now draw a line from a root of the tree to the word root. So what would happen if the tree didn't have roots? It would just... That's right, it would fall over. But what else do roots do for the tree? <gasps> Collect food and water. Yeah, so it would die, right? Okay, look back at, the, at page four. Where's page four, Sayla? I already put my Okay, put your finger on number five. Let's read together, ready? Trees have leaves. Leaves can be different sizes and shapes. But there are no trees. We collected some leaves from the trees that we observed. What color were the leaves of the trees we looked at? Yes. Green. And and one of them were like like just like a finger. Okay. Use colored pencils to draw some leaves on the twigs of the tree. Draw some leaves for me. Oh, I can do wooden leaves. Well, these can be all different shapes and sizes. See, look how I'm doing it. Well, I'm gonna draw like. Oh. Well, how? That's nice, Ella. Nice leaves. How are you doing it? Like this. Yeah, pause it while we do this because it's going to take a little while. 